Colin, we've followed the, the journey for, of Rock Farrow coming, coming to here in the borough, so here we are on the, on the Saturday afternoon. How's it been going? It's been going, it's been an incredible uh, few, a uh, whole week has been incredible uh, because LZ7 obviously in schools, you were there for the schools work and uh, uh, we've had two young, lovely young ladies working really hard in the school with LZ7. Last night we had our, our first event, Celebration of Hope, and uh, we had uh, a band called The Gathering Band with Cheryl Perris singing. It was an amazing night last night, over 700 people in the, in the building and uh, a tremendous response uh, to, to, to what was going on. We had parking problems, people coming to an, a Christian event, so it's been a real an exciting time. We're not getting much sleep. So parking problems at a Christian event, um, people's ears bleeding coming to a Christian event. Oh, there was no bleeding, no. <laughs> it's, and, and indeed, when we, when we were at Stanford and, and, and Gary was, was speaking there, you're, you're, it's been incredibly popular. I imagine yeah. you're, not, you're not surprised. Uh, I'm, I'm relieved. <laughs> uh, we, we, we were planning for a lot of people to come and uh, yeah, the results have been there. We're just so pleased to see, a, see the building filled for an event and uh, yeah, there's been a good response. That's, uh, with, uh, there's a whole team who've worked so hard. What, over the two days and indeed over the work of the schools, if there was one thing you'd like to get out of it, what would it be? Uh, I want to go for two things. Can I go for two things? <laughs> the real plus for me is uh, obviously the first, first and foremost was that we've seen a number of churches working together, 35 churches in Thurrock, um, to, to, to a greater or lesser degrees across denominations working together and that really represents for me that there's, uh, we're beginning to see this dream of transformation Thurrock taking place. That's really exciting. Christians working together. The second thing is really what we've been aiming for within this, this particular event is demonstrating that unity by working together to work with our young people. So the young people are beginning to see that the, you know, the church has a message to share with them and uh, the, the offer of uh, being able to, to join in and to have a good time, uh, to hear a real positive message and that, that's, that's, that's shone through in, in loud volumes. And, and when you've been at uh, Hasselbrook and Grey School and Gateway Academy and uh, Ormston, I think I've got them all, um, what's the response to being students? Uh, I think initially the students were very puzzled, uh, you know, that they were coming into their school hall being made to sit on the floor, and that was a bit of a shock for them, they were thinking they were going to sit on chairs, and uh, they were being told to put their bags at the back and take their blazers off, they didn't know what they were going to be expecting, and so there was a bit of suspicion by those, but they, once it kicked off, they were, they were loving what, uh, what happened with the band, so that was really exciting. I think that uh, the, the difference has been with schools where we've tried to promote the event, and uh, the band haven't been in, uh, the response was slower, they didn't know what to think. Kids are very particular about their music, but uh, you know, interestingly, I mean, certainly in the younger age groups, the year sevens to nines really responding, they're just loving what's, what's been put on for them.